One, two, three, and... Someone that uh, we know in New York that we've known for a long time came up to me and says, Oh my God, what did you do to Lou? I've never seen him like this. <laughs> he's bouncing off the walls. He, I, he's smiling. What are you doing? Like, ah, nothing. We're just us and we connected. That's the magic of music. And soon after we cut got the moment, you know, hey, let's do a record together. Huh? Oh, okay. You, you get this accent, sweet jam. And you came with your lyrics and you started working? I came with my little lyrics tucked under my arm to give uh, <laughs> to my friends at Metallica. And then sometimes, oh, Lars or James have an idea, say, wouldn't it be fun to do a little eight-bar thing at the beginning? So I would run out and do some writing and come back in. But I'd been doing... I had had those lyrics in my head for months. I would cut my legs and tits off when I think of Boris Karloff and Kinski in the dark of the moon. It made me dream of Nosferatu trapped on the Isle of Dr. Moreau. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely psychology of Lulu is very, very fascinating, and that's probably one of the reasons it's existed as Berg's opera, Pandora's Box, the play that Bob Wilson was doing with a dramaturg in Berlin. And I went in, and I was interested in the psychology between Lulu and the men and women in love with her. Yeah. And jealousy, violence, Jealousy. That's my home base. I am a chorus of the voices that gather up the magnets set before me. I attract you and repel you. A science of the heart and blood and meaning. You know, and when you talk about the darkness, you know, we're no stranger to the darker side, the questions, the wonderment, the <coughs> why do I feel this way, you know, just identifying with a lot of the darker Who feelings. doesn't know what jealousy is? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a side of man that no one really likes to highlight because it's not pretty. And we make it beautiful by <laughs> using it in our art form, you know, and without the darkness, you don't know how great the light is, you know, it's, it's great to have it all. No, you know, and, and just, you know, Lou's awesome lyrics showed up with these wonderful soundscapes, and, and then James and I had a, a complete blank canvas to start from, and, and, and it was so liberating and free, so this whole project and, and everything that's coming away with it has just been really effortless and very kind of uh, freeing. One of the world's best live albums is the Rock and Roll Animal album that you made. And that is really heavy, so it's... And you must, of course, love that album as well. I think it's... That great. was a stepping stone to this. Mm. Wow. That's, that's okay. Yeah. But this, this is where it should be. Yeah. I knew that five notes into uh, the Rock and Roll Hall yeah. of Fame. I said, these, these are my guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have got to go exist with them yeah. in their orbit. I am the fruit. I am the progress. I'm the aggressor. He starts off at 100 miles an hour on the drums. Yeah. That's where he starts. <laughs> he starts where most people, drummers, end. It's very inspiring. It's cool. You know, you know these guys are with you a thousand percent and there's no way they're going to stop. You would have to shoot them. 
Yes. I think it's a fantastic video, Lou, because you seem to be, you want to challenge yourself musically all the time. Well, I'm a graduate of Andy Warhol University, and everything that that means, and that kind of attitude, and I've held to that, and I was very lucky to be around that, yeah. and influenced by that, and watch that work, and how you do certain things. Yeah. And I've taken that with me, no kidding around. And this was more of the same, except look at what I walked into. It was like, you know, if God gave me a wish, it would have been to play with Metallica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fantastic. And it must As be, a, for you, no, it must be. No, what, no. What? I think we can end the interview now. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing that can be yeah, said but, after yeah. that. So. <laughs> Do you think sometimes people try to intellectualize rock and roll? Is that a word? I do. You, you do it, and it's... Oh, if I can find, like, really smart guy doing it, I'll listen forever. But that is your life, the, the rock music has always been, or...? That's me. That's, I'm really, really limited interest. But you were uh, literature and... Photography, literature, Film, you know, Tibetan uh, thoughts on certain subjects, mm -hmm. but rock. I'll travel a long way to hear great rock, more than anything. Mm -hmm. A world without music is a world that doesn't exist. I am a chorus of the voices. Bang. Oh. mean. It's the collaboration we've all been waiting for. Lou Reed and Metallica have finally released their blood-spattered album, Lulu. It's dark. That's not raising hell, that's just stupidity. <laughs>